it's funny. NFTs are all the rage right now, right? Everybody's talking about a non-fungible token. I, although with a lot of artists in the, the content creators in our community, I think NFTs are a thing. We might be in a little bit of a bubble right now, but as you saw, like the artist Beeple sells for 69 million. You got crypto punks, NFTs that are selling like crazy. That's a different thing than what I think is the potential for content creators. What I like content creators and content entrepreneurs, I love creator coins or tokens. I think that's where I would start. Basically what a creator coin is, like we have our own creator coin, it's called Tilt Coin. We use rally.io to manage all that. Rally's great. You could also have Roll, which is tryroll.com. There's a number of them out there. Uh, I just happen to prefer Rally. Where you can create your own economy with a currency. And if you think about, uh, it could be almost, you could use it like a loyalty system, like airline miles. So you could give out your own coin to your best subscribers. And then what you can do, like we use it for referrals for our newsletter. So the more people that refer our newsletter, we give them actual tilt coin, like tilt is traded. You can buy one for six, a token for uh, $6 a share. So it's actually some value. And then what we are going to do is if you get enough tilt coin, you'll get exclusive content opportunities, which we're planning right now. So you'll get to go to certain, if you have a certain amount of tilt coin, you get to go to certain events. If you, in the fall, if you want to pay for our training, you could pay for that out of US dollars, Bitcoin or tilt coin, however you want to. And it's all about decentralized finance. I'm a big believer in it. And, and I think a content creator can actually create their own economy, which is what we're trying to do. It's really a thing. We're early, early days. We're all going to make a lot of mistakes in this thing. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm testing it out just like everyone else. But the possibility that we can do that and be with more people being open to Ethereum and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general, it opens up the floodgates for all kinds of different business models. Now, does that mean that if I sell my first blog post as an NFT, a non-fungible token on, let's say, OpenSea, which is like the eBay for NFTs, if I go do that, will somebody actually want to buy the rights and the digital certificate for my first blog post? I don't know, but... It's possible. You're seeing that happen with musicians where musicians are selling fan experiences and cover artwork to, you know, a fan and they're, they're selling it for, you know, thousands of dollars. I don't know. Yeah, where, like what does I don't know mean? where it's going to go. I don't know. What does that go. mean, Joe? Like if you sold an, if you sold your book, uh, Content Inc. as an NFT, would that mean you don't have the publishing rights anymore? That's actually a really good question. I, I believe that that per you're selling the <laughs> you're selling the rights for them to use that and they actually own that it's a, it, however you set up the smart contract and that's all that basically that's what an nft is an nft is a smart contract set up on the uh if one of the sub ethereum networks if i'm correct and you can set up that contract to say anything it wants so if you set that contract up and say you actually own the rights to this post and you can use it however you want to you are selling the rights away to that. If you now, were going to sell uh, your book, uh, Content Inc., as, a, as an NFT, and that also included publishing rights, what would you start the bidding at? <laughs> That's a great question. I have no idea what I would do. I probably would not do it at this point. I would rather, you know what I would rather do? I would rather give it away for free I, if I was going to do that. Cause I can't, I can't put a price on that. I literally can't. I would, you know what I'd rather do? I'd rather sell, sh you know, 500 shares at a thousand bucks a piece. And then you could, <laughs> or, 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 or a hundred bucks a piece and let people share it. But I don't think that's what, I don't think that's what the NFT is going to be going for, for content creators. I think the opportunity is not in non-fungible tokens. I think it's in fungible tokens and that's the creator coins. I think that's so, where the you know, apparently is. the carbon footprint of uh, a Bitcoin is, you know, huge. And Pia, who's in the house, says, uh, given the vast amounts of energy that's used for Bitcoin and NFT, do you see it continuing? I got to think it's just going to get more efficient. I, I got to think that that's a, a handleable problem. Well, first of all, if you read on the sustainability efforts, 
that's a big issue. And a lot of the miners are very aware of it. And they're trying to go carbon neutral, I think by 2025. Like everyone's talking about this because there's been a lot in the news about the energy that it's taken up. But what I, when I talked to somebody else about this, I said, yes, you can measure it. You can measure every little bit of energy it takes to mine a Bitcoin and move Ethereum on, on the blockchain because we know it. Well, how much does it cost for us to financially support the U.S. dollar? <laughs> we don't know that. We don't know all the energy it takes, all the buildings, that all the people in the buildings, all of the energy that they're consuming, all the electricity. We don't know any of that. It's the same fine. It's, it's just a different financial system, but you can't measure that. <laughs> That's the difference. And I think people are looking at this and say, oh my God, look at all this energy. Well, yeah, there's a lot of energy and you can also measure it. So the good thing is there's a lot of smart people trying to work on that. And I don't think long-term that's going to be an issue. I really don't. 